Hey, it's Carmine, and I am going to repair my broken gym bush. So, excuse the shaky <laughs> handheld video. Um, so what happened is, is this piece broke here. And this is the second time I've had this happen to a gym bush where, um, <laughs> where I dropped the gym bush or it fell, but the only thing to break was um, this piece. And you can see, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but, um, I have a newer uh, replacement one, and it's a very soft metal. Um, I wish they made these a little better because in both situations, I was kind of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> uh, with nowhere to get replacement parts. So um, these never seem to break when I'm in Turkey. Uh, they seem to break when I'm in the middle of the woods somewhere. <laughs> so um, uh, I wish they made these a little better. And if you know anyone uh, who has some kind of metal shop, that can reproduce one of these, that would be amazing. Um, I would love to have a stronger version of this. But anyway, um, this broke again. And um, what I'm gonna also do is, if you see here the head, um, it's uh, kind of fraying away, and I'm going to replace it with, bam, this black head. You can buy these on mid-east.com, uh, and um, I think this, uh, will be kind of totally metal um, when I'm done. So, um, if you notice, the head is not super tight on these. Um, you know, there is uh, plenty of uh, give here. Um, so, uh, we need to remember that when we put the new head on, that we don't make this as tight as possible, uh, or like a doombeck or something, uh, because the tension from the strings and everything needs to be able to push on it a, little, a bit and stuff like that. Um, also, um, this little bolt uh, nowadays, is, is it called a bolt, a thing? I don't, um, the newer ones have uh, a nice rubbery end on them, which kind of makes them a little easier to turn, not that I turn it that often. So, uh, I'm going to remove all of these, take off the ring, uh, put on the black one, uh, check it against this video to see if it's kind of the same tone, and then I will um, reattach um, the this piece to the neck and then attach it to the body. Um, also, while I'm doing that, just a couple of words of advice. I have a little thing here so that when I'm working on this, um, I can keep it uh, kind of level with um, the body, uh, you know, when I'm trying to put new strings on and stuff like that, um, that it's not flopping around. <clears throat> when you put these necks on, you, you don't... Um, you need to leave a little bit of room uh, uh, to tighten it a little bit. Uh, so you don't want to, you know, have it as tight as possible and have the strings as tight as possible. You kind of want to like uh, get everything on it and then kind of scotch it up a bit, uh, you know, here and there and stuff like that. So um, I will <laughs> get to work and then I'm, I will show the end result. Uh, thanks. Hey, it's Carmine still. Uh, <laughs> We're back, and now I have taken the um, uh, the uh, the ring and the uh, head off the jumbo Um I just wanted to get video of. I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like there's cobwebs in there, <laughs> um, which is hilarious. Um, and it looks pretty awesome inside. Uh, I kind of dig it. Um, uh, one thing, um, the tool I used. Um, this is just a regular. Thing that you can put uh, bits into. That's my finger looking huge. Um, and it, I can just push down and turn. It doesn't fit around them, but it's enough to kind of uh, loosen them up. So um, this worked fine. <laughs> uh, this little screwdriver, little thing you put screw things into. Uh, so um, I am going to um, put the head back on, uh, the new black head. And I think I'm going to line it up. Um, so that the logo is along uh, the string line and stuff like that. So that's kind of fun to be able to pretty it up a bit. So I'll be back. Hey, it's Carmine. And um, so what I've done is I've put the uh, head on and the ring and uh, all of these um, bolt things. Um, and oh, one thing I noticed, um, my new thing uh, did not come with a washer, so I had to keep the old one uh, from the old thing. Um, and so now, I haven't tightened it yet, 
everything is just touching. <laughs> I just use my fingers. So now I'm going to tighten it. And when I tighten it, I'm going to work across um, the, the body. I'm not going to do this down all the way and then go around. Uh, that would probably bend the ring and do some damage to it. So uh, to be careful, I'm going to kind of work my way uh, across um, and do a little bit at a time to try to get it to that tension that we had earlier with the other head. So I'll be back. Hey, it's Carmine and welcome to the continuation of the Jumbush Saga. So I feel like the head is where I want it to be tension wise, but I want you to notice that you can see the dirt <laughs> or the, uh, you know, from the old, um, you know, how far it used to go. And um, you might be looking at your Jumbush and thinking, I should go down further, um, but if I go down that far, it will probably tear this head up apart. Um, the older um, head has a lot of collar, uh, is that called collar? Uh, here, um, and this new one didn't, doesn't seem to quite, um, I don't know, it just seems this head's a little tighter than the old one, um, which is paper ish with I'm sure it's a papery coated plastic something and the um, this one is just as, um, mylar I guess so um, anyway um, I am not putting it down this far I am again uh, playing with you know hitting it and, and seeing that the tone is kind of where the other one was so um, next is to oh the bridge so what's nice is on my old one I have a little imprint here of um, I have a little, I can see where the bridge used to go and um, I can just kind of uh, measure that and put that, I should measure that for you. And here's the measurement. I believe it's about two and a half inches from, looks like the bridge was about, <laughs> six centimeters uh i guess we're using metric because we're in turkey so probably about six centimeters um away from the uh, base of the thing so uh that's not as accurate as i can get <laughs> all right uh moving on hey it's carmine and the world's longest jibbush video um i tried to use this newer uh thing um but after it went in a little bit it just was unturnable uh, uh, the threading looks a teeny bit closer together um, than the older one. Um, it's, I mean, I got this um, <laughs> a really long time ago, so it's possible they changed a couple of these things a little bit here and there over a decade or something. Uh, so, um, oh, also, when you're putting this neck on, like I said, um, air on the side of loose um, when you are working with this instrument. Um, I could probably uh, actually even loosen this a little more. So for the neck to be straight, there's a gap here. So if you tighten this flush against the body, um, your neck will be at an angle. <laughs> so again, um, when you're when you're doing this and you are putting on the strings, um, err on the side of being loose and give yourself room to tighten instead of the other way or, uh, around or. Uh, it might get a little messy. <laughs> uh, thanks. Hey, it's Carmine, and I have put the first couple of strings on, and you'll notice that things are, I need to uh, keep going, and then eventually tighten here, and tighten there, and all this kind of stuff. Um, but I'm well on my way, so I'm just gonna kind of get all the strings on, just loose, just enough to cover the bridge, and hold it in place, and then I'll start playing with the neck and some other stuff. So we're getting there, stay tuned. Hey, it's Carmine. <laughs> um, and you can see I have all the strings on it and they are really loose. Um, looser, actually this one could even be looser. Um, looser than you think you need to be. Um, uh, you know, I can slide the bridge around and get it to the right place, make sure it's uh, straight. Also look at this action couch um look how high this is but the strings are loose enough that i can actually oh my god i can do some video i can bend i can bend the neck 
Well, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it this way. Anyway, when I have two hands free, I can actually bend the neck down to where I want it to be um, so that the action isn't ridiculously high on these things. So um, these are really loose, and when I, um, when I take the neck and I can bend it with both hands, you'll see it kind of goes, it kind of goes, whoop, um, and stuff like that. So that's next. If you've made it this far, you are a true Jimish man. Hey, it's Carmine. Uh, quick, check it out. Um, I, I realized, <laughs> I realized I can show you by turning. As you see, I can turn this, and it will lower and um, bring the action up and down here. Um, but I could do that because the strings are really loose. So, uh, like I said, don't tighten them all the way. And this way, you can. Uh, uh, you know, do this. When I was first learning, <laughs> I did this with my strings at full tension, and it was like bing, 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 bing. <laughs> uh, so uh, make sure you keep them loose, and you can then adjust the neck to your liking. How cool is that? Uh, thanks. Hey, it's Carmine, and here is the finished Jumbush. Look at how pretty, and uh, the tuning. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to, tuning needs to settle in a bit. Um, for those who are curious, um, on the Jin albums um, and a lot of my earlier stuff, I used G, C, D, G, C, F. So this G string at the bottom is like the third fret of a guitar, and this would be C, D, G, C, F, uh, which makes it really high and the tension really tight. And I think um, that's why my jumbo sounds so bright and loud. Um, I've tried, um, at, and my original, the jumbo I first played ever, w was tuned that way. Um, so I kept it and, and loved it that way. And I've seen other people tune the jumbo kind of like an oud, um, with the lower string being a D or a C. Um, and it just feels like spaghetti to me uh, when the tuning is that low. So my kind of bright, aggressive jumbo sound um, is this tuning. However, nowadays, um, instead of this string being a C, I tune it to an A, and that's because a lot of the songs that I play with friends um, were playing in the key of D, so having the A string right below the D um, helps me to um, play stuff in D. But if I'm playing by myself, I might do G and C here, and then um, D, G, C, F, and it's, I have a lot of drones, and I can just play open uh, a lot or very simple stuff and uh, it's it's it, I can just make more noise of that tuning so um, but nowadays I'm doing G A D uh, G C F um, thanks for watching this ridiculous collection of Jim Wish videos but it looks so pretty now and so beautiful and um, it took me just a couple actually the most work was putting all the strings back on everything else was really quick um, to do so um, I think it looks great <laughs> from before uh, and again thanks